Hi guys, happy Black History Month. I'm so excited to work with some of these black owned brands, makeup brands that I'm gonna be presenting to you. Um, we're just gonna jump right into this look because it's kind of um, just to go out. So I am gonna be applying a little eyeshadow to Day, so I'm just gonna put on um, put concealer on my lids and blend that out so we apply the concealer to our eyelids so that we can create a smooth even tone base for for the eye I just want it to be like a little sparkly over my eyelid not too much something cute you know and I'm using my beauty blender to blend that out on both of my eyelids. I'm really slow, so <laughs> I doubled the, the video here because it took me all day. And I set that with a little powder. And now I'm just going to go in with a brown shade. The shade that I'm using is from a palette from Violet Voss and the color is called Teddy. My, in the middle of my um, eyelid, it's an ochre color. This highlighter is what we're going to use as an eyeshadow just for a little sparkly highlight kind of look on the eye and I'm applying that with my finger the highlighter is from Ofra I'm gonna go in with the next darkest shade in the Violet Voss palette that I'm using called Coca Latte and here we're just blending, blending that eyeshadow, that darker color in to crease over towards the nose. So we're putting that in the crease and over to the nose, the curve of the nose. I'm using a Real Technique brush. Okay, from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows, and then I'll come back and um, finish my eye a little later. For my eyebrows, I always love to use the NYX Micro Pencil in Espresso. This pencil is the perfect texture to draw little strokes in the eyebrow. very distinct, like I like them. Filling in, and now you see me putting some concealer underneath the brow so that I can just clean up any mistakes that I might have made. And this is how I get my eyebrows as even as I can. You see when I connect them in the middle there, it tells me that they're at least level. They at least gotta be level. Go ahead and blend that out. And you know this is a blending game, so you got to stay on your blending. You have to blend multiple times. Um, you have to make sure that your contour is blended with your foundation and highlight and so forth. Now I'm just going to get into, uh, into my concealer, Le Beige, first. Um, because I just want the little rosiness on my cheek. I'm really soft. I have so many Chanel products to review for you guys. You want to dab this before you put any other makeup cream makeups on because this is a water base and then you want to let it dry down underneath the foundation. So it's a very good product to use alone or if you want to use it underneath your cream, concealer, all that good stuff. 
So the first product that I'm going to use is my Tarte Creaseless Concealer and then I'm going to use the black opal um, in the middle of there. I'm using the black opal in the in the center just for a little more coverage instead of highlight there. That's where my darkest area my is on my eye. It's actually almost gone. I love this concealer. I really like it a lot. So, so this is your time to go ahead and do all of your correcting sure with this same crease. concealer. I'm using the black okay. opal to correct my dark spots. And as you can see, I'm dabbing my eye area very, very gently. I'm doing kind of like a spackle motion so that my under eye doesn't crease. And you gotta get in there, you gotta turn your head, you gotta make all the faces just to make sure that you don't crease under your eyes. So <laughs> until you set it, have fun. my NYX mineral stick for a um, for a contour just a very light contour I bring my contour all the way up here and, um, I make sure that I bring my contour high because I want to lift my face I don't want to drag it down my nose, I like to use a lighter color contour so I use this candid and what I want to do is I want to connect. And I like to use um, use a lighter contour on my nose because it just doesn't look as harsh. It looks very natural, gives you a very natural look. You know, just take your time, go with the curve of your nose because you're contouring out that section of your face. So remember when you're contouring, you're creating a shadow to hide the features that you don't want people to see during this look. I'm using e.l.f. medium peach to highlight. And highlighting is the opposite of contouring. So when you highlight, you want to bring light or bring focus to the parts of your face that you want to be seen. And this product, this e.l.f. medium peach is very, very concentrated. So you only need a little bit and start small and work your way up because it'll leave you looking kind of ghostly, but it will let you know how much foundation and, you know, other products that you have to use. I'm going to use this Chanel Healthy Glow Bronzer. Just pull my cheeks a little bit. This is also from the Babage collection of Chanel. It's a cream bronzer, so I'm just gonna bring some color, some more color to my face. So after I get all that done, I like to go over my face with a beauty blender and then I'll go into my foundation. So you want everything smooth before you set it or before you add on the foundation because it kind of lets you know how much foundation you even need. Like so. And now we're gonna get into the foundation. I have this Fenty Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick that I'm going to be using for this look. The color of this stick was just perfect. It's like my perfect match. I think it's 16. And then I'm just spraying my Real Techniques brush, um, face brush with a little Tarte setting spray. And I'm just going to pat that in with this brush. It's my favorite tool for putting on my foundation and blending. And I'm just going to put a little Laura Mercier Honey Translucent Powder. And let that bake for a little bit. Not crazy about it, so make sure that your concealer is smooth under your eye before you set it. You don't want to set in the creases. I 
I have a ton of makeup videos coming out where I'm gonna be showing you guys that. So for the finer details, just go ahead and take your time when you're going back and you're blending and getting the highlights and contours that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put my eyeliner on. I'm just using the Epic Ink Liner. I have shot a wing tutorial for you guys and I'll be posting that soon. I love this Epic Ink Liner because it's so easy to do wings with and I am a wing girl. I am using Fenty, uh, Fenty Beauty Mascara tonight. I've pretty much given up on lash extensions. They just cost too much and don't last long enough for me. I'm a lasher, but sometimes lashes can be a pain in the ass. And I'm just putting some Teddy on my under eye. So we're going to use the Juvia's Place Perfect Red. I'm just going to be outlining with another brand pencil first. Okay, this is kind of like a deeper red um, that I'm outlining with first. And then I'm going to outline with a brown just to um, give me some definition. But I'm going to do the brown after I get the red on. Working with red lipstick is so hard for me. I don't know why. Like It always ends up everywhere. Like It never just ends up on my lips. It ends up on my face. So this is Perfect Red by Juvia's Place. You know who has a really, really good Juvia's Place um, section right under your nose? It's Ulta. Ulta has like a whole aisle. Now I'm just putting on my Ofra highlighter. And I did go with a white liner on my waterline. See, you can tell I'm not going anywhere. My nails aren't even done. Spray it down. What am I using? I'm using Laura Mercier Spackle Mist. All right, I put some Laura Mercier Spackle Spray on and I'm just gonna let that sit and I'll come back and let you guys see the final, final look. Even though this is the final look, I'm not gonna add anything else, but once it dries and sits, I'll come back and I'll have my hair done and I'll let you guys in on who this wig is from and uh, yeah, so stay tuned. And now we're about to get this hair together. So before I wet it down, I'm just gonna be trying to fluff it out because I cut it a little bit up even and in the back it's, this lace is transparent. doesn't have a lot of stretch but it blends very well I love the texture all right so this is the final look I 
Um, all you have to do is put a little water on it, maybe a little bit of leave-in conditioner, and it comes back, that curl bounces back. So yeah, let's try on some outfits. Gita hair.